What's up YouTube, Antonalog here, and today I have a video review of the Perix MX2000II. This is a budget mouse coming in at $25 at the time of filming this video. This mouse aims to compete with the big dogs with its ergonomics, macro buttons, weight customization, and RGB LEDs. So how does it compare against more expensive mice from Logitech, Razer, or Myonix? Well, first off, the ergonomics are pretty good. I found that the curve of the mouse fits my hand pretty well, but the right side was a little uncomfortable. It would be a lot more comfortable if Perix made the right edge a little more tapered so that the edge wouldn't interfere with my ring finger. I also think that if the mouse was a little wider, it would have had more space for my ring finger and pinky. However, I still like the wings to support your thumb and pinky on the left and right sides of the mouse. The sides of the mouse have a nice soft rubber material, which makes gripping the mouse extremely easy. The top has a rubberized plastic that feels good as well, and is very high quality. On the bottom are five Teflon pads that allowed the mouse to glide smoothly on any surface you put it on. I tested it on a SteelSeries cloth mouse pad and also my wooden desk. The mouse had no problem tracking on both of those surfaces. The mouse also includes an extra set of Teflon feet if the stock ones wear out, something that even many high-end mice don't have. Along with a laser sensor at the bottom, there's also a compartment for the included weights. You can fit up to 7 weights in the mouse, which are included in a nice case to keep them all safe. This too is a feature that only a few mice have. This mouse also has a very nice braided cable that feels very tough and durable. The left and right buttons are soft enough to be pressed quickly, but also tactile to the touch. The scroll wheel, however, I felt was a bit mushy. There were distinct steps, but too much slack in between them. There is a scroll wheel click that is very good, however, and doesn't trigger scrolling when pressing the button. On the front left of the mouse are DPI LEDs that are controlled by the two buttons behind the scroll wheel. Above the thumb are a set of two extra buttons, and resting under the thumb is another larger button. I would have liked this to have seen an extra button at the bottom of the thumb wing, as I feel that would be a very simple and easy button to press. All the buttons on this mouse are extremely tactile, something that I realized I was missing out on with the Logitech G700S. Here's a quick sound test of all the buttons. The buttons are nicely placed, being able to access them quickly and easily. You might have noticed the LED lights on the scroll wheel, DPI shift lights, and at the palm of the mouse. You can change the color of these LEDs using Perix's software. Their software allows you to take full advantage of the RGB lights and the macro buttons. The software is nothing special, but it does the job. However, I find that the different colored LEDs are totally useless. First of all, if you want to color match your peripherals, you'll have a hard time matching this mouse to itself. The DPI buttons are locked to a green color, which means that if you want to match the rest of the mouse, the lights must be green. Then you have to deal with the red cable, which means you'll immediately have a Christmas-themed mouse right when you take it out of the box. Hence, I see no point in color changing LEDs on the scroll wheels and palm. If Perix wants to get this correct the next time, they should make the cable black and the DPI indicator LEDs changeable. But if you're not that much into aesthetics like I am, this will be a minor issue for you. In conclusion, this mouse has a great button layout, tactile buttons, and great features including weight customization and macro support. However, the right edge of the mouse was a bit too blunt, making it much more comfortable to use claw grips. And it's also impossible to color match this mouse to any of your other peripherals. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.